What's good YouTube? Creator House here back with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made that blaster or laser effect in Blender. And it's actually a pretty quick and easy tutorial because yeah. Um this image or this the model of this gun came from a guy that I found on the internet and I don't know his name, but this is his information. This is his image, so just putting that out there. So what I'm gonna do was is delete that square and add a cylinder. We'll rotate it on the X 90 degrees. Scale it down and then extrude on the Y axis. Boom. Now a couple things that you will want to do is to go into your render properties and enable bloom for right now. Oh, and I'm gonna just add a background because Backgrounds are lit. Smooth it out a little bit. All right, now, now that we have this main shape, I think I'll make it like, like that. But go into tab into edit mode and I'm gonna just add a whole bunch of loop cuts. Boom. Now, I just do it this way because it's easiest. Any other way would be difficult for me for right now. So, do something a little quick and easy. So, loop cuts. Let's see. I think that's good. All right. Out of edit mode. I'm going to just smooth it out. Why not? So what I did was I added a displace modifier. So where is my displace? And I add new, go down to textures, clouds. All right, so this is basically uh, the, the nebula or the laser that's gonna be coming out. And I just randomized it a little. Add medieval and then change the strength. Global. So if it like moves up and down or something it changes, it's not like local. Local's kind of dumb. So yeah, there you go. There's our light right there. So let's go to shading. All right, so I'm gonna change the background color first. To like a, that. Extrude on the X. I mean, with extrude on the Y. There. All right. So now here comes the fun part. The world. I kind of like drop down the strength a little bit because I like the way this looks. Go into your object mode. Add in a new texture, and this is the fun part. Now you can just turn the emission all the way up for a color. You have that. Turn it down a little bit. But I like to add some variation. So I grab a color ramp. Add in emission. So let's see red. And like uh, blue. Change it constant. So let's see. Alright, and control T, delete that image. Well, you have to have no Wrangler in out enabled. And there you go. You got the mapping and you can change it. Bring up the emission strength a little bit. Y. Rotation on the X axis. Bring up the string. It's like nothing like special. Yeah. Now a cool thing I was thinking about trying that I haven't tried yet was adding a this. So that color ramp Fresnev factor. 
and emission shader a mix shader emission on the and then factor so then I can like change it a little bit make it look a little different a little more unique change the emission to like maybe like a a green or something there you go and that's how you get like this little cool like little glow effect now to animate i'm gonna just work in the same window for now i'm bring up this timeline and i'm gonna add in some keyframes on my keyframes on my on the size under texture so here I'm gonna add an eye I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna add another like changes or something I right, so let's see now you can make those keyframes a little faster or a little slower Let's see. And that's how you get that little laser effect. And then if you really want to get into it, you can like add in a shape or a size keyframe. Change the size of it. So let's see. We're going to have it like small. Oh, wrong thing. We're going to have it like small. Wait, how to, I'm going to add a keyframe here. Scale. And I'm gonna add a keyframe here. On the X, no, on a Y axis. And hit zero. And I'm gonna add in keyframe scale. Now I'm moving over. And yeah, there you go. And then if you want to keep animating. your nebula you can do that see oh wait let's randomize it you know and that's how i just did that quick little laser effect so like in my previous one so open one quick thing that i like to mention that if you would want it to keep going and then you don't want it to be directly animated what we can do here is open up your graph editor hit in on the keyboard make sure you like zoomed out tab on the let's see uh this is the scale for this so we're just gonna click that for right now that line right there I'll go to modifiers tab and hit noise and bring the size down so we wanted to just keep going see that or we can bring it down a little bit because it's too much too fast we can offset it a little bit And there you go, you get a little bit more randomness. Not random, but like have it to continue on. Changing phases. All kinds of stuff. And that's how you just do that quick little laser effect. It's really simple. Some people like would have it like on a curve or something, but you can do whatever you want with it. it it's just a very easy thing to do, especially if you're like in a rush and you want something nice or something or whatever. Yeah, you got that. Pretty cool, right? Pretty lit. But that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And this was just a quick and simple little easy video that I wanted to share with you guys. And I hope you guys like it. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and stay tuned for another video. Because why not? Alright. Peace.
Let's <laughs> go.